Yo, what is going on guys? It is Arts here and welcome back to a new video. Today we're on Tarnish, a brand new server that is coming out tomorrow. Make sure you guys check it out when it does launch. But before we hop into today's video, let's go over the giveaway for you guys today. Today we're giving away two $25 bonds to two separate lucky winners. All you have to do to enter that is leave a like on this video, comment your Inca name down below, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. It's all you guys have to do to enter. Nonetheless, I hope you guys do enjoy. We're going to hop into a little server review and let's see what the server is all about. First time logging to Tarnish, going to check out the game modes here. You have all these different XP rates, which you can pick to get better or worse drop rates. Obviously, you can go with the basic, which is 250x combat, 50x skilling, and you won't get any bonus drop rate, and you can go as low as to 5x combat and 5x skilling, which will give you a whopping 8%. They have Iron Man, they have Hardcore, these all have the same exact, like, you know, options for the XPs and stuff, so. It looks like Iron Man does get 2% more drop rate bonus when picking the 5x, though, so that's pretty nice that the Iron Man do get that. So, they got Ultimate, and then they also have Group, which there's only one option, so. And it does say it's coming soon, so it's not even out yet, but that is pretty cool. Like, I'm guessing when Group Iron Man does come out, the whole they'll have a bunch of, like, competitions and stuff, so. That's pretty exciting. We're just gonna go with the basic for now. Obviously, this is the uh, beta, so the server's not even out yet. But yeah, we're gonna go and check out the mainland, and let's do it. You can watch the tutorial and get an extra 25k gold when starting off, so that's pretty nice. Can also give you an idea of what's going on with the server. Looks like it's completely automated too, so that is super clean. Love to see that. Very clean. Alright, so we are at the home area. This actually looks really nice. It's a little bit custom compared to your normal Edgeville home, which is something I always like to see. Not really a big fan of people just copy paste Edgeville and add shops around it that's kind of getting stale nowadays, but they did change it up quite a freaking bit. It looks really good. You got the teleport here, which is really nice. I always like seeing that. And then, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just hop into more of the details of the server, and then we'll resume in-game. As you can see here, they are hosting an invite competition through Discord, and in order to enter this, all you have to do is send out invites, post in popular servers or whatever. Just get invites that are legit, and you guys have a chance to win prizes. There are three different winners, so I think that's pretty cool. And then here is the launch competitions. You got a bunch of different things for a bunch of different prizes. Those are in bonds, by the way, so make sure to go ahead and keep track of that as well if you do plan on playing so you guys can get those rewards. But yeah, that's enough of the prizes. Let's go ahead and hop into some of the content uh, releases that they are going to do. So on the second week of the server being out, they are going to introduce Alchemical Hydra and Zolcano. On week four, that's when they're introducing Chambers. So you're not going to have Chambers until week four, and then that's when you're, everyone's hopefully geared up by then and ready to grind the hell out of that. So you're not going to be seeing people with T-Bows on day one. Like, it's not going to happen. So I kind of like that. I kind of like them delaying these things so it gives you something to work towards and not have to rush into super quickly. I do like it when servers do that. And then week six, they're going to introduce T-O-B and Nightmare. So T-O-B is after Chambers. So after doing, you know, two weeks of Chambers, you got T-O-B. Love to see that. And then next is week eight. And then week 10 is Toa or TO Wave, whatever you want to call it. So I think that's really cool. It kind of just gives you something to look forward to as the server goes. And that's just kind of the general rundown um, of what is going to be coming out. There is going to be obviously future updates after that, but that's just what's known right now. So first thing I noticed immediately was this teleporter and they have all working teleports. There is plenty of options. This is just general. You got all your skilling teleports, which they actually put the icon next to it as well, which makes it nice and easy to navigate around. You also have a search option. You got all these and they actually put the images next to these two. That's pretty cool. All your bosses looks like they've got pretty much everything that you need. They even have tombs of I'm, I'm not even announced that they're trying pronounce that i've never done it because i suck at the game but they do have that they have all raids one two and three they got the nightmares that's pretty nice all working mini games even motherload mine that's pretty cool pyramid plunder like what server has pyramid plunder coded bro who does that bunch of different wilderness teleports that's always good and then you got your donator zones you got regular premium and legendary that's pretty neat all your dungeons here but yeah also they do have some cool mystery boxes they have the regular mystery box the super mystery box and the iron mystery box most servers kind of have like a 30 million different mystery boxes so this one's just got two basically and if you're an iron man you only have one option from what I heard is these iron mystery boxes aren't pay to win, it's mostly cosmetic, but we'll see. Let's just go and speed open some of these. Oh, let's see. Oh wait, what did that say? Oh, it's saying that there's items that can be changed in the mystery box at any point, so. That's, okay, we just got a freaking arcane prayer scroll first one. 
prim boots. I mean, wait, these are kind of stacked. That was pretty solid. And then the super mystery boxes, which are supposed to be better, hence the super in the name. I mean, not the worst. I think the first one was better though with the arcane prayer scroll. And then these are the iron mystery boxes. So this is what Iron Man can donate for. Wait, I genuinely want to know the odds on that because I just got a party out in the first box and then a candy cane. Hold on, what is that, dude? All right, we opened up another inventory and got another party hat. Well, five more inventories, no party hat. Must have gotten stupid lucky, dude. Of one KC party hat. Well, it is beta, unlucky me. So over here, south of home, there's a big skilling area and they actually do have themselves a AFK area, an AFK zone which you can purchase time from over here. So if you want to buy time in the AFK area, let's say you want to just go in there for 12 hours, you want to go take a nice slumber, you need 10 vote points and you will get yourself 12 hours. Or you can just do one hour for one vote. I'm actually curious what the XP rates are in here just because like it is costing you votes and not like actual cash. So let's go and take a look. So we have one vote point here. Do I have to claim it or is it going to take it from my inventory? Okay. So we do have to claim it, claim one, and yes, there we go. And let's go and get one hour. It might actually scale with the uh, the XP, like the level I'm at. So let's go ahead and just click on something we can do here. Let's just squeeze through the agility pipe and let's look at the XP drop. So is it just gonna keep going? Oh wow, 500 XP, okay, so it probably doesn't scale. But that's actually kind of insane XP that you'd be getting. That's actually not bad at all. And the rune light does have the, uh, the XP rates. Let me just go ahead and reset others, reset. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it for like five minutes to see what the XP rate is, and we'll see how much XP per hour this is, just out of my own curiosity. And as you can see on the screen, it looks like it's capping out at about 550k XP per hour. So if you want a, you basically would need like close to basically like 24 hours on the dot. So 24 votes to get a 99 essentially in one of the skills you want to train in here. Looks like you got uh, rune crafting. Oh wait, I don't even know. There's like two different things here. Essence and then an altar. I'm not really sure. I guess I can check. Do I still have, okay, it does let me keep going in. What XP does this give? Oh, so you do, you AFK here, and then you use it on here. Okay, so you got that, you got fishing, you got agility, and you got farming. Farming would be one that I would 100% do that on, bro. Screw that skill. Thank God they have that there, because, yeah, so, <laughs> if you want to end up AFKing one of those horrendous skills, they have all the terrible skills in there that nobody likes, you can, so that's pretty neat. The server also does feature combat tasks, so you can also grind all of that. You got your collection logs, you can grind all of that. Click here to see your time played, that's pretty neat. Everything works, everything. Got all your achievement diaries, you can grind that. You got the events, which are gonna be in this tab right here, which is very convenient. They have a skill of the day, so you're gonna get more XP in farming than any other skill. It's gonna be boosted. Not sure by how much, but it is going to be boosted. That is really good because that gets you to skill more. Even if you're not a skiller and you see that, you're gonna wanna skill a little bit, so that's always good. You can passively grind your way with that, plus the AFK zone to get your 99s a lot easier. Anyways, I do wanna keep this video nice and short, but I hope you guys did enjoy make sure to enter the giveaway for the bonds nonetheless hope you guys do check out the server launch is tomorrow so stay tuned all that info is in the description as well make sure to register an account on the forums as they do link with the in-game login anyways i'll see you guys in the next one thank you for watching and peace